this is problem number nine in this problem number nine it is having a custom of a hexagonal pyramid custom of a hexagonal pyramid and this custom at the top of the custom a square of 30 mm diameter is there and at the bottom at the bottom this hexagon is having at the bottom 30 millimeter side at the top it is having uh, 18 millimeter sign now first we have to draw this hexagon with 30 millimeter side for that you have to take a hexagon and after drawing the hexagon the total length you have to take from here to here total length you have to take the total length will be 58 so 58 and another side it is 50 so if you mark 1 here so 2 when it meets here 2 3 4 so 1 right side is 50 so first we will mark a point here so right side is 50 1 2 3 4 5 and other side 58 1 2 3 4 5 6 close to 60 I am taking so this is 4 point second point so another side just by drawing the line we will get so parallel to this I will transfer here which is 58 so here we will get third point approximately I have taken so here also you can draw the line if you want so this is first point now after drawing the first part we have to transfer all these edges so here 1 2 3 4 we got now we have to transfer this a point b point c point d point e point and f point in this box so a is at a distance of 25 mm from the 1 from 1 it is 25 mm distance so first we will transfer a point at the center of the 50 it is 25 a will transfer at the same place here we will get B point B and C B is at a distance of 14 mm from either side 14 millimeter means so it is 10 close to 15 is 14 from here it is already 8 8 plus 6 is a 14 from 5 6 above 6 will mark on the either side so it is 14 close to 5 so here B C D E we have taken the edges we have to join these edges now we have transferred this hexagon here now it is a custom of another side is 18 millimeter so if you take the total distance here take this total distance here we will get 32 millimeter total another side if you take the total distance so this distance uh, we will get 40 so one side will get 40 another side is 32 so that is at a height of that will be at a height of 50 millimeter so this height is 50 mm so 50 mm we have to take the height from the center how to take the center by joining 4 and 2 1 and 3 so we got the center here from center we have to take the height of 50 how to take the center of the height so first from here I am taking 1 2 3 4 5 so from here with the divider take the height 50 then by keeping it at the center just draw the arc and then take 90 degree from that point from this point you have to take the 90 degree so just I am taking the parallel lines so intersection lines I'm taking because of the roller scale you have to take the 90 degree from this point so here we got the height 
at that height the box of 40 and 50 have to 40 and 32 have to transfer at this place so from this point we will transfer these parallel lines just see here I am transferring this line here and then this line also will transfer parallel to this from the height Now, I transfer the height here and then the distance is so one side it is left side it is right, left side it is having a distance of 40. So we will take from this 40. So this is 10, this is 20. So this is from here it is 10, 20. And another side it is 32 so right side it is 32 so we will take 32 means divided by 2 16 from this it is 5 10 so 16 will get here so this is 5 10 15 16 will get here see what we will do so we will just transfer these lines here wherever I have marked we will transfer the line observe carefully you are transferring the parallel lines here and then parallel to this line only just transfer here then at this place now we got the box here which is having 32 1 2 3 you can check 32 1 1 this side 32 another side it is 1 2 3 4 exactly 40 40 by 32 are transferred here by taking the center lines now on this 32 and 40 we have to transfer this another hexagon inside for that 32 means 1 will be 16 so this is from here it is 10 it is 16 means here will get exactly center will get a and D 32 means divided by 2 it is having a 16 so total distance is 32 this distance is 32 so one side it is 16 so 16 I have marked A point this is A B C D E and F A and D I have marked with a 16 mm so this distance we have to measure here how much distance we will get so 5 will get so from this we have to take the 5 so closely 5 you can take here on either side just mark by zooming just mark the 5 sorry it will be more than 5 so we will check here is around 9 not 5 you can make a box and check separately it is around 9 so from this point you have to take the 9 from this point you have to take the 9 so it is 2 5 7 8 9 closely here will get so it is around 5 9 around will get here so here also nine around will get here so we have marked all the points B C D E and F so now we will join these with some dark edges so that you can understand easily We 
have to assume the lens don't take any edges so at the top also I have transferred this at the top of this there is a sphere there is a sphere which is having a diameter of 30 mm for that you have to take the height from the center you have to take the 15 mm height so 15 mm height you have to take with the divider so this is 10 this is 15 so wherever these two lines intersect we'll get the height so from center we'll mark a point here iso 15 so this is nothing but iso 15 so from 10 so wherever this cuts from this point to this point if you take 15 that is the height so height i have taken and then from that you have to draw a sphere of 15 mm diameter sphere will be drawn with the original length so please keep that in mind sphere will be always with the original length so now we will take the original length here keeping at this point with original length you have to draw a 15 mm sphere sorry from the height you have to draw wherever this intersect edge from this you have to draw the sphere Spare should be dark. Now down the spare, which are invisible, don't make any lines dark. Which are visible, I will be joining here. Just see, this is D2 e to e e to e then f to f and then a to a then b to b which are visible lines so i made it dark so i can make these lines also dark at the end so this face inside this face which is not visible don't make any lines dark inside this only this part is visible this is how we have to draw a sphere which is resting at the top of the frustum of hexagonal pyramid. 